Leila Mont is sitting next to me. She's the founder of Crème Collective. Oh my gosh, I've never heard it said so beautifully. Why have you chosen a French name? Uh, the inspiration behind the name Crème Collective comes from La Crème de la Crème, which of course is the best of the best. And that's the inspiration for putting a beautiful portfolio of brands that are new, niche, notable, and are just so special, and all the people behind them are special. It's really the creme de la creme of the beauty industry. So a beauty retail agency. A beauty retail agency. So we work to get brands retail ready, and um, then we take them out to all of our friends who are beauty buyers, spa directors, um, all across the world. What brands do you have? We have a large portfolio of brands. Um, I have two here today, and we're actually representing four at the Indie Beauty Expo. Which two? <laughs> so we have Kipris Beauty, which is a gorgeous skincare company based in Scottsdale, Arizona. And the ethos behind Kipris is um, sort of that, you know, we in, in natural beauty tend to fight with, you know, maybe what's happening in the medical channel a lot, but there's all this beautiful crossover. So Kipris is that happy place where it's green formulations, it's super effective, super clean, and then we infuse it with um, pharmaceutical grade ingredients, dermatological technologies like uh, delivery systems and encapsulation. And no and animal testing? Absolutely no animal testing ever. Cruelty free? Completely cru cruelty free and completely safe for everyone, including pregnant women, the entire range. Do you have a product with you? Here? I do, yes. So I have a beautiful hydration product here. It's called mm -hmm. the Antioxidant Dew. Let's show and it to the camera. Mm -hmm. It's a nice color, the blue one. And the flowers? What is this? Flowers? Or yes. Rains? So they're, they're flowers, and each bottle in the range is decorated differently. Um, I can show you a box as well, the mm -hmm. outer unit carton. It's all uh, actually feminist art, kind of going back to you know taking beauty um, back as women and making it really safe and healthy for all of us. Let me try. Sure. <laughs> so this one is a Hawaiian sea algae. Mm -hmm. blend. There's phospholipid encapsulated um, antioxidants and vitamins mm -hmm. and all that really means is that they're protected in a lipid barrier and they penetrate the skin, they get down to where they need to be and then they're released and it's all these beautiful you know, natural ingredients. Yeah and it has a very natural smell. Yes and the whole line is natural. It's all um, it's impeccably sourced so we're finding ingredients all across the world that are supporting uh, women-owned farms, co-ops, uh, they're doing really cool things with sourcing and sustainability. Mm -hmm. And let me check the other brand you have. I found out it's called Ritual de Fil. Again, French! Again, <laughs> so beautiful. Made in downtown Los Angeles, but <laughs> the inspiration being um, Ritual de Fil, which you know is daughter of ritual or sister of ritual. Mm -hmm. And their approach to makeup is not so much about making yourself too pretty pretty but more to embolden yourself and mm -hmm. we see a lot of really rich pigments um, we see you know bold colors and you know it, it's really bold and I can show you on your hand what I mean. No, show me on my lips. Oh. Do you have the color on your lips? I, I don't have this the color. Same. This is their... It could mm -hmm. be. Well this one is, is called Written in Blood. Um, it's good for kissing. <laughs> it's great for kissing, and when you see this, you're not going to believe this is a natural okay. line. So, you can see it's so pigmented and really, really bold, and sort of just the perfect red. So you need to to blend there. It feels very soft. Mm-hmm. Great formulations. Yeah. They're all handmade in the lab in downtown Los Angeles. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. So what differs this product or this lipstick to other ones? So this one is handcrafted, hand poured, and again, it's 99% natural ingredients. Um, I think when you look at the natural makeup world, we tend to see a, a lot of natural looking shades. But at Ritual Defee, you're really seeing, you know, we have a, a lipstick called Shadow Self that's like this dark kind of smoky blue. There's a green lipstick and they're all done so beautifully that you can actually, you know, wear them. They're wearable, they're bold, they're unique. I feel that you're very passionate about it. Yes. So you're gorgeous. part of the Indie Beauty Expo. Why do you appreciate this expo so much? 
So that's an interesting question. You know, we've been looking at trade shows for a while, and um, nothing has really appealed to me personally until the Indie Beauty Expo. And the reason for that is I built a, a company on Indie Beauty. So even though I worked for big beauty companies, you know, in the United States, I was always kind of shopping and trying to discover, you know, the, the, the new brand that was out and somebody that was doing something different. And I loved really high quality and the artisanal kind of aspect to beauty. So Creme Collective is, is based on the concept that Indie Beauty has a place and that mm -hmm. all of our retail buyer friends need to know about it. And my last question to you, did yes. you find a hot new brand or did you discover a new brand? Oh, uh, Lotus Way. Mm -hmm. Lotus Way, right when you walk in, they're doing so much in this space and it's just a really cool product line. Why do you like it? Well, first of all, they have flower crowns on today, mm -hmm. <laughs> so they look lovely. And um, they're just these cool formulas and, you know, um, inspiring fragrances. Yeah, we're going to have them later in the interview. Thank you so much okay. for being here. Thank you. And I uh, wish you a good day Thank and you. lots of success. Okay, I appreciate Crème it. Crème Collective. Okay. <laughs>